So we're gonna go ahead and demo and test FPS on these Pixincoos M416s. If you remember in the setup video, I showed you two of them. I showed you this red one, and then I showed you this blue one. Sorry, I've only got two hands. So these are the two color variations they have. Now they are mechanical magazines, which means always prime that to get gel balls to pop out the top. I already had that one ready, but it'll take you a good 10 clicks. Insert it, make sure you click that button until gel ball pops off every time you fill the magazine. Now we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. It's actually shooting really nice. You notice it shoots right away because of the manual priming. Let's test FPS now. This one, consistently between 155 and 160 all the time. Um, so that's great to get an FPS that high. I'm very surprised. However, the blue identical one, when I was shooting it earlier and testing it, it was maxing at like 140. It was more around 135 average. That is bizarre because having a longer muzzle on there, if, did it, if anything, that would maybe slow it down. Now it's so wide, there's no barrel drag going on from anything. So it's just interesting to see that much variation with the FPS on these. So if you're gonna go with these, I guess I advise go with the red one, but I bet you that depending which batch you get, you could get either FPS. So, you know, anywhere between 135 and 160 FPS. All right, so they're from Pix and Coos. They're on Amazon. Just know what you're doing if you get a mechanical magazine blaster. And like I just said, know that there's really no upgrading possibilities at all because people pretty much ask me that multiple times every week in comments. All right, if you have any other questions, let me know. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and participate in the monthly giveaways.